Even if you haven't watched any of the videos I've posted to my channel, and first of all, if you haven't, why haven't you? They're amazing. It might still be evident from my channel name that I am not a speedrunner. Speed in a video game is really not a factor I consider, except for extreme cases when I'm really bored with a long game and want it to end quickly. Short of that, the video games I play tend to be slow paced and free of what most people would even consider a challenge. To that end, it's debatable if the games I enjoy are really even considered games when most of them don't feature any winning or losing. Hot Wheels Unleashed is a racing game developed by Milestone and released in 2021 for the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Nintendo Switch, and PC. It's a game whose target audience surely does not include me, a grown man who doesn't have a single other racing game in his library. It's also a game that, on the surface, wouldn't seem the least bit chill. Races are competitive, and success in a racing game demands perfection. The fact that I regularly lose hours at a time gripping my controller tightly and failing more than I'm progressing has led me to ask a very important question. How chill is Hot Wheels Unleashed? The standard chill rating system breaks down the qualities that pertain to a chill video game experience. All categories will be scored 0 through 5, and the end result will be multiplied by 2 to award a score out of 100 total points. As is the case with any video game worth its weight in gigabytes, the primary standout feature of Hot Wheels Unleashed is its art style. We control a scale replica Hot Wheels die-cast toy car, and we race in charmingly fourth wall breaking real life environments that include an office, a construction site, and a customizable basement. The gimmick persists in every environment and never wears out its welcome. The variety of the courses keeps the levels feeling fresh in every iteration, not to mention the white knuckled gameplay demanding the majority of our attention while we're actually playing. Because of this, you could argue that the game doesn't need to look as good as it does, but anyone who plays it is going to appreciate the graphical fidelity, even if it's on a subconscious level. The format also allows for practical visual cues due to the different colored pieces of the Hot Wheels tracks representing curves and straightaways. Combined with absolutely gorgeous reflections from dynamic light sources and the lovingly crafted models of the playable Hot Wheels, and you get this gorgeous, colorful dessert for your eyeballs at a chill rating of 5. While the music is another standout feature of the game, it is decidedly not a very chill soundtrack. Predictably, the game opts for energetic songs with a lot of synthesizers and fast-paced BPM. This suits the gameplay perfectly, and despite the somewhat frenetic nature of most of the tracks, the music can still feed into the somewhat trance-like hypnosis that I felt while playing. I'll take away one point because the songs are certainly not appropriate for a yoga or massage session for a chill rating of 4. On the one hand, the mechanics of Hot Wheels Unleashed are super chill. The button bindings could not be simpler. Right trigger accelerates, left trigger is for braking and drifting, and the X button is the nitrous boost. I don't have a wealth of racing game experience to compare to, but I was able to drift perfectly around corners and win races within my first hour of playing. My anecdotal evidence seems to imply that success depends equally on choice of vehicle as it does all other factors combined. If I found myself struggling with multiple attempts, I knew that my best chances at beating any course at all were with this red race car, and though I don't think the game is tracking this, I'm sure most of my wins came while driving this car. I'm taking away a half point due to the stressful nature of racing games and time limits in video games. The game might have received a full point reduction, but the short length of the races encourages the next attempt and feeds into the gameplay loop. Hot Wheels Unleashed receives a chill rating of 4.5 for its mechanics. As you'd expect in a racing game, the fail state of Hot Wheels Unleashed is losing the race, and as you'd also expect, the game does not punish us when this happens. We're encouraged in multiple ways to try again, including a single button prompt to retry from the results menu at the end of the race. Like any good roguelike time looper, we benefit massively from multiple attempts, armed with the knowledge of the course ahead of us. Without even trying to, by the third try of any of these timed courses, I had a game plan worked out. I was strategizing where each curve was placed, which side of the track I had to use to hit the speed boost, or when to use my own nitrous boosts. This approach to a dying mechanic receives the full chill rating of 5. Failing is unavoidable, but it rarely feels cheap, and more just encourages us to try again. Hot Wheels Unleashed uses the pretty much standard full autosave feature, so all progress is automatically tracked and recorded. The only downside to this comes in the collection portion of the game because there are certain cars which are locked into place once upgraded, meaning these vehicles cannot be sold or dismantled for scrap parts, nor can we roll back the upgrade. You can see here that this car loses two bursts of nitrous when upgraded, and now that it's been upgraded, I can't unload this less useful version. This is admittedly not a huge issue and I'm only removing half a point from the chill rating for a total score of 4.5 for saving. 
There are multiple game modes to choose from, all of which are available to the player right away. These include single player races against bots, single player solo time trials, online multiplayer races, split screen multiplayer, and a more traditionally structured single player story mode in the form of the City Rumble map. The races listed on the map earn us rewards in the form of in-game currency, unlocked cars, and unlockable customizable pieces for the track builder mode. The magnitude of gameplay options is welcome, and really all of them are just excuses to get to the enjoyable core of the racing. While there are some races that are locked behind timed events and DLC, and no shortage of opportunities to purchase that DLC, none of this leads to a lack of accessible content in the base game. We can award a chill rating of 4.5 for how the game approaches its quest design. While the pace of an actual race is anything but chill, the overarching gameplay implications are surprisingly laid back. The pick up and play nature inherent to its structure means it's easy to play for 20 minutes and somehow even easier to play for 2 hours. I believe the longest track I've raced so far is around 3 minutes long, with the majority of them lasting about half that amount of time, win or lose. That is not a huge investment of time. There's remarkably little preventing the player from giving it one more try, especially considering the relatively balanced gameplay makes victory always feel possible. I've played Fall Guys enough times to be sure that I'll never be the last one standing, and if these races felt the same way, I could see it being frustrating enough to want to stop playing. As it is, the pacing of the way the gameplay is consumed is very chill, so much so that it probably qualifies as a never-ending chill game and receives the full chill rating of 5. The game's map doles out the rewards and the sense of progression, but the narrative is so flimsy and inconsequential that I will not analyze it here. I award a chill rating of 2.5 because the plot is such a non-factor, it doesn't feel fair to reward or detract points on something that barely exists to judge. Without any other games in the genre to compare it to, it's impossible for me to know for sure how Hot Wheels Unleashed stacks up to its competition. I feel safe assuming that people who are looking for a realistic racing sim are going to find this game lacking, and I also have a feeling that people who want overtly cartoonish over-the-top action like Mario Kart might also be disappointed. However, the sheer sense of speed I experience in Hot Wheels Unleashed is worth noting, even if it's ultimately par for the racing game course. I've already complimented the attention to detail in the graphics, but moving at these speeds, a dip in frame rate at the wrong time could easily ruin an otherwise perfect run, and I'm pleased to say the game ran smoothly at 60 frames per second for every second that I've played so far. I think it's also worth noting that this game's physics makes driving this toaster feel a lot more like driving a toaster than driving the other cars, even though I have no idea what it truly feels like to drive a toaster. Hot Wheels Unleashed earns its perfect chill rating of 5 for its lack of bugs and lack of game breaking crashes. After compiling the individual ratings, Hot Wheels Unleashed receives an overall chill rating of 90 out of 100. A game as competitive, as loud, and as fast as Hot Wheels Unleashed should not be a chill experience, but there's something about muscle memory and focus that leads to a trance-like state that I can only achieve through video games. My time with Tetris Effect feels similar in that its difficulty and its stress levels are high in a moment-to-moment -moment sense. However, there is nothing limiting our number of attempts, and there is really nothing to be gained or lost by succeeding, so the stakes remain low and the experience becomes about something else besides winning. I get extreme satisfaction from drifting around a turn so exquisitely that I come out of the curve faster than I entered it, or seeing that straight line that exists through the S and hitting my nitrous boost directly through its center. Throw in some chill customization, track building and editing, and the rewards of unlockable playable vehicles. There are a lot of relaxing hours to be had with this gorgeous and fantastical racing game. If you played Hot Wheels Unleashed and agree with my assessment, or if you think my rating is an absolute travesty, please tell me why in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please consider subscribing for more chill video game content.